Hey, Wesley, I've always been interested in uh, actors' early experiences with theater. Now, in high school, you participated in, in a number of uh, puppet shows. Yeah, yeah puppet what was, theater. What was that like? Um, that was fun. That was, that was a lot of fun. Um, it was uh, more like bus and truck. We created um, all the sets. We created the puppets. We created all the dialogue. Or the whole, excuse me, wrote the script and um, also wrote all the music. Now, you've had some interesting jobs in your past. You were a, a masseur at one time yeah. and a parking lot attendant. Yeah, yeah. Now, what? For Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> For Columbia College. And the funny part about that is that I was a, I was a parking lot attendant. The reason I, well, I was out of a job, you know, and uh, the reason I decided to do parking lot because I had a buddy who did it, and he was getting almost $700 a week. So I was like, cool. You know, and then they put me at Columbia, but they put me into the staff employment garage, you know, employee garage. So it was like, they left me no tips. <laughs> you know, professors come in, they park the car, and it's like, boom, take it over there. Uh, left that one. Now, you've uh, demonstrated your, your martial arts skills uh, in a number of films, but you started your training at an early age. And is that true that your mom had a lot to do with you getting involved with that? Oh yeah, she took me to La Rock Bay, uh, which is uh, at the Harlem YMCA at 125th Street, um, when I was maybe 10 years old, and started me there. And, um, what, why did, why did she do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was a kind of a short guy, you know, so maybe uh, that had something to do with it. Maybe she thought maybe, you know, a little exercise would help me grow or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm wondering, as you do more and more films, how much of an interest do you take and how the films are promoted. There, there are two movies I, I have in mind. One is uh, The Water Dance, great, great little movie, not much notice, and Boiling Point, which was promoted in kind of a strange way. They what tried to make it seem like it was my movie. Yeah, yeah it wasn't. It was Dennis Hopper's movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just in it. <laughs> okay. When you see those ad campaigns, are you kind of disappointed in how, how the films are come out? No, uh, you know, I, I don't, I mean, with Water Dance, it was, a, once again, it was very, it was kind of early on in my career. It's, before, it's after Jungle Fever. Um, actually, when Water Dance was filmed, it was just after New Jack's, New Jack City, the filming of New Jack City. So um, they didn't have the money to do what they really wanted to do. Uh, they wanted it to be a small film. Boiling Point is, you know, I don't know why they, they did, did it the way <laughs> they did it. Um, I, I don't know. I, but I don't usually get too involved yeah. in it. You know, I just don't like I don't like lies. Yeah. You know, don't say it's action if it's not. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when Passenger 57 came out. You said that, uh, or I read that you said that when you read the script, you thought that you were being considered for the role of the of the villain. Yeah. Uh, with this film, did you have any hesitancy about about playing a bad guy? All not at all. Yeah. Not at all. I mean, I've done a look a bunch of the good guys back to back. You know. Yeah. So it was time to go back and be a villain again. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be pigeonholed into just doing the good guys for the rest of my life. Yeah, I think we're about the same age, and so probably when you were in high school, you probably saw Rocky and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Rocky films as you as you got older. Mm -hmm. Now, did you ever, uh, when you were doing these fight scenes, did you ever, in the back of your mind, did it pop out that, uh, hey, I'm in the ring against Rocky Balboa? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. I mean, you can't help but remember this sly in, uh, in, in, in that role. Um, but, you know, my biggest concern was not to hit the guy, you know? <laughs> you know? I mean, it could be chaos. If me and Stallone got into a fight and then our security men would get into a fight and everybody else would get into a fight, our agents would be into a fight, you know, it would be awful. <laughs> so I was like, yo, whatever I do, let, don't let me hit this man. <laughs> you know? After the screening last night, there were some teenagers that were in the lobby in the theater, and they were talking, to, oh, Wesley, man, that clothes, those clothes, great clothes, man, great clothes. Now, how awkward were those uh, costumes to wear? Well, the uh, jumpsuit was rather hot. It was a hot, that was hot. Um, you know, I, I was losing about two pounds a day. I have, you know, I go home and really, you know. <laughs> and uh, the rubber, oh, man. I mean, it was cool when it wasn't wet. You know, once it got wet, it was, it was rough, yeah. rough. Okay. And one final question. Uh, after driving around in, in some of these unusual cars, what do you think uh, the future of uh, American automobiles will be like? Well, if they actually go into manu uh, production, some of these cars could be uh, revolutionary, you know? 
<laughs> I mean, you could knock the Japanese out the box for a while. If they work, you know, it's nice all the style and stuff. The car's got to work, though, you know. You got to have a mechanic who, you, who can repair it, but not for at least a half a million dollars, you know what I mean?